guys, welcome to Thoughtful Thursday. So today we are talking about how to persevere through your goals. I understand having and setting goals are a very difficult thing to persevere through. The definition of perseverance is to continue doing something despite difficulty or delay. And we always think about the difficulty part, but sometimes that delay is the hard part. Like waiting and being patient and understanding that your efforts are being rewarded at some point. (sighs) So today we're talking about how to persevere through your goals. I have five steps for you guys. So make sure you put in the comments which one is your favorite com- which one is your favorite step, okay? Step number 1. Set clear and specific goals. Set clear and specific goals. It really is that simple. So when you think about smart goals, right? Specific, measurable, achievable, relatable, uh, relevant, and timely. So making sure that you have specific goals, not just, I want to be happy. I want to lose weight. If you want to lose weight and you lose one pound, goal accomplished. Measurable. You want it to be something that you can actually say, yes, I did this. No, I did not. The problem with, I want to be happy is it's not really measurable. But if you say things like, I want to work out three times a week. You can very clearly and objectively say, yes, I did. No, I didn't. It's not an opinionated result, right? Achievable. It has to be something that you're capable of achieving. I personally believe you can achieve any goal that you want. You just have to put the realistic timeline on there. That's just my little tidbit on that. But Um, so achievable and you want it to be relevant. You want to make sure that your goals, that this goal is aligned with your bigger purpose in this world. So if I were to say, um, you know, I want to learn how to do axe throwing. Is that a goal that's really relevant to my purpose? No. I'm not saying you can't have that as a goal, even if it's not relevant. No. But does that goal take priority? No. See where I'm coming from? So making sure that the goals that have priorities in our life are relevant to the things that we want to accomplish big picture wise. Cool. So in addition to relevant, it has to be timely. You have to have a deadline associated with that goal. And keeping in mind, it has to be achievable. So can I say I want to lose 20 pounds by tomorrow? No. Just shy of surgery, I guess. I I don't know. It's just... Anyways. Um, So you want to make sure that it's an achievable goal. So can I lose 20 pounds? Yes. But by when? Can I lose 20 pounds in 20 years? That's a ridiculously excessive timeline. Can I lose 20 pounds in the next three months? It would be difficult, but it's possible. It's achievable. See where we're coming from? Cool. So set clear and specific goals goals. Step number two, set realistic deadlines. I am big on um, setting these like lofty goals. And sometimes I have to be honest with myself and say like it wasn't a realistic deadline. And you just have to have that forgiveness. And I do have a video under hashtag self care Sunday, uh, where we talk about forgiving yourself. Sometimes I, the hardest thing that I have to forgive myself for is forgiving myself for not meeting a a deadline that I had set and understanding that that deadline probably wasn't realistic. Set realistic deadlines. Step number three, break down your big goals into smaller actionable steps. It's kind of self-explanatory, but we'll explain it a little bit for you. So when you have this big lofty goal, like I want to be a lawyer, right? Cool. What's step one? Be a lawyer? No. In order to be a lawyer, you got to pass the bar exam. In order to pass the bar exam, you got to go to law school and study for it. In order to go to law school and study for it, you have to find an undergrad and do well in undergrad. In order to do well in undergrad, you got to do well in high school. (sighs) There's steps to it, right? So you want to make sure that you're creating actionable steps and you understand with realistic timelines 
what can I do within the next 30 days to get closer to this goal? What can I do in the next 90 days to get closer to my goal? What can I do in the next six months? What can I do in the next year? Where can I see this goal this time next year? Cool? Don't wait for New Year's resolutions. Start now and then plan for the next year. Cool. Step number four, which is my favorite, um, have accountability partners in place. Have accountabilities and par- partners in place for yourself. Um, you're not going to always want to do your goals. You're not going to always, like for me, my biggest struggle is working out. I don't want to work out. I don't want to eat right, but I want to look good. So you have to have people who have permission to hold you accountable and check in and ask those difficult questions. Point blank period. And step number five, expect greatness from yourself. Expect it and then meet your expectations. So I'm going to have a recap for you guys. Step number one, set clear and specific goals. Step number two, have realistic deadlines. Step number three, break down your big goals into smaller actionable steps. Step number four, my favorite, have accountability partners in place. Step number five, expect greatness from yourself. Put in the comments, which one is your favorite? And as always, make sure you subscribe subscribe, subscribe, so that you are the first to hear about our next Thoughtful Thursday. And if there's a certain how-to that you want to hear about, put that in the comments too. Make sure you share this video with someone who may need it. Like the video if you liked it. Let me know you liked it by liking the video. All right, guys, I'll see you next week.